Welcome to the Haptsoft channel. This is a tutorial on using the Wi-Fi Brute Force program. The download link is in the description of the video. To download the program, follow the link on the page, find the releases button, and click on the program version 1.0.0 Alpha. To download it, click on Wi-Fi Brute Force Zip. To prevent your antivirus from deleting the program, it is better to temporarily disable it, otherwise the program will not work. After downloading, unpack the archive with the program and run the file main.exe. If a window appears about how to open a file, ignore it and click anywhere where it is not there. In the main menu, you will see a simple interface. In the SSID tab, you must select the network you want to hack. After that, select the file with passwords. I specifically added the correct password there to show that the program is working. Attention, the program deletes all saved networks, so it is better to save them in the Network Settings tab. After selecting a file with passwords, click the Start button. You can also pause hacking by clicking on the Pause button. As you can see, the network was successfully hacked and we were given the correct password. Now about how to use a password generator. In the first field, you need to enter the number of characters in the password. Next, you need to select or enter the path to the folder where to save the list of passwords. In the third field, you need to enter the number of passwords you need to generate. And after that, click on the Start button. As you can see, passwords are generated and displayed to you. You can also use special characters in the password generator. The generator also has an endless generation option. When you select this option, passwords will be generated endlessly until generation stops. To save passwords, you can use Network Settings. To update your network saved on your computer, click on Scrape Wi-Fi Passwords. To save the network in a file to restore it, click the Export Wi-Fi Profile button. In the menu that opens, enter the name of the network you want to save. You can check if there is a save by following the path as in the video. To load the saved network, you need to click the Import Wi-Fi Profile button and select in the menu that opens and finally the Settings. In the Settings, you can edit the following parameters. Language Show Hidden Networks Auto Connection After Hacking Show Network Strength Delay Between Connections Debug Mode and the Logging Level At the very bottom of the settings, there is a link to GitHub of the program author. That's all for today. Bye.